Okay, now let us proceed to problem 3. Okay, problem 3. Given, determine the voltage across a 2, 2 microfarad capacitor, 2 times 10 raised to negative, uh, 6 farad if the current through it is I of T 6, and 6 E negative 3000 of T milliamp okay really um, so pwede natin express yung 6 pwede natin ilagay nga 6 E negative 3000 of T times 10 raised to negative 3. Or yung 6 na lang ang i-raise natin sa 10 raised to negative 3. Pwede naman ganun eh. Kahit parang kataba lang. Next, initial. Okay, assume that the initial voltage, V, initial voltage is, meaning to say, is 0. Okay, is equal to 0. Bakit kailangan natin yan? Take note. Okay, C3. If you are looking for the voltage sa capacitor, ito yun eh. The voltage sa capacitor is this one. It is actually an integration uh, formula. 1 over C I D T. Plus, we have to um, remember that capacitor and inductor has um, history. No? Na nating alamin ano yung previous <coughs> voltage value at uh, time less than zero at before nung charging or nung uh, pinag-uusapan natin yung time. So, kailangan meron siya. As well as sa inductor, no? So, kailangan natin yun, yung initial value ng capacitor. Capacitor. Initial value ng voltage ng capacitor. Okay. So, kailangan natin yung equation na yan. Now, ito yung solution natin. Gusto ko so, solution natin is that ang equation natin for I, I, I mean V, required is V. Okay. Ang required, agay ko na lang dito. V of T. V na lang. So, I, I, I mean V is equal to integral, okay, 1 over C, integral of 0 to time T, I D T, plus the initial value of capacitor, V at 0, initial value. Ito yung notation natin kapag pinag-uusapan natin yung initial value of voltage, initial value of current, V of 0. Substitute, 1 over C, C is 2 times 10 raised to negative 6 from 0 to T. What is the equation of I? That is 6 um, E negative 3000 of T times 10 raised to negative 3. That is in milli. Tapos, this is, oh, ito yun yun, yung I. Pero kailangan ng DT kasi nag-integrate ka, mag-integrate ka, kaya kailangan ng DT. Plus, the initial value of the voltage is zero. So, i, ano na natin? I, lipat na natin yung mga kailangan ilipat. Or set aside natin. Ito kasi, ito, 6, 6 raised to negative 3. Pwede na natin siya ipad. Okay, E negative 3000 dt. O, oh, 0 na yan. Okay, recall, let us recall that the integral, integral of E raised to u du is equal to E u plus C. Okay, take note that EU must have its derivative. So, in this case, E, this is our U, no? Ang U mo kasi dito is negative 3,000 T. So, the derivative of, okay, the derivative of negative 3,000 T is negative 3,000 DT over DT, or that is 1, tama? Or negative 3,000 DT. But, Dito sa given, nawawala yung 3,000. So, we have to introduce negative 3,000. Provided that, maglalagay tayo ng 1 over negative 3,000. Yung reciprocal niya. Kung maaalala nyo, 
if there are coefficients missing in integrating, we can introduce that constant or yung coefficient provided that maglalagay ka ng reciprocal niya. So, pwede mo nang magamit itong formula na to. We have e raised to u, e raised to u. What is e raised to u? e raised to negative 3000 of t. Dapat may du siya. What is the derivative of u? Which is d negative 3000 t. That is negative 3000 t. So, doon pa lang natin magagamit ng equation na to. So, v, v is equal to 1 over 2 raised to negative 6 times 6 raised to negative 3 times 1 over negative 3000. So, that is 3,000. O, oh, sige, para walang cut. Ayan. So, that is negative 1. Okay. And then, integrate this one. So, that is E negative. Siya rin. Kopihin mo lang. But, we have limit from 0 to T. Okay. And then, we apply. So, that is negative 1. We apply the limit. Upper limit minus lower limit. So, yung T, substitute mo din ng T. Minus yung t sa lower limit, substitute natin ng 0. But e raised to 0, e raised to 0, that is 1. So v is equal to negative 1, e negative 3000 t minus 1. And then distribute, so that is negative e negative 3000 t plus 1. So unahin natin yung 1 kasi positive, no? So that is 1 minus E negative 3000 T. Okay, ang unit natin dito, uh, um, yung milliamp ni ginawa ko siyang 6 raised to negative 3. Ito. So kung ampere and then makukuha natin na voltage, so that is in volts. So this is our answer. This is an equation of V is a function of time. Okay, so that a 200 microfarad capacitor whose voltage is shown. in this figure at the end. So, dito sa problem to, walang binigay na voltage equation. Pero binigyan niya tayo ng ano? Binigyan niya tayo ng waveform. This is actually wave, voltage waveform kasi V versus time siya. So, all we have to do is first, i-derive natin yung V of T equation. Ano ba yung equation niya? From 0 to 1. Interval. Okay, 0 time 1. Tapos 1, dire diretso auto 3. 0, ay, wait, 1. 1 time, ayan, from 1 to 3. And then 3 to 4. And then yung t greater than 4. Or we can say that as otherwise. Ano yan? 1, 2, 3, 4. Kailangan natin malaman yan. So, first we have to, ano, paano ba natin, ma I, I mean, determine the current. So, kailangan natin makuha yung V uh, equation. Kasi, para makuha natin yung current, ang kailangan natin equation ay I is equal to C dV over dt. Kapag nakuha natin yung uh, V of t, so, isa-isahin natin yan. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times tayong magdi-differentiate. And then, makukuha natin yung I of T. Sa apat din. Sa apat din interval. So, ganun ang gagawin natin. But, before we do that, so, for, lalagay ko na, for I of T equations, we will use I is equal to C dV over dt. Given naman ang C. Okay? When C is 200, times 10 raised to negative 6. But before we do that, we have to get the equations, okay? We can use the two-point form formula. So, for uh, interval 0 to 1, 
ano yung mga points natin? Okay, from 0, 0 to 50. 50. So, this is 0, 0 to Okay, 0, 0. Ito naman ay 150. 1 and 50. So, that is 0, 0. And this is 1, 50. O, pangalala natin. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Formula for that. So, lalagay ko na din. So, that is Y minus Y1 is equal to Y sub 2 minus Y1 over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. X minus X sub 1. So, ito yung gagamitin natin formula. This is 2.4 formula. Okay, para may ano na tayo. So, y minus y1. y1 is 0. Is equal to y sub 2. That is 50. Ito, 50 minus 0 over 1 minus 0. Okay, so that is x minus x sub 1. 0 then. So, arrange mo to y is equal to 50x minus 0 y is equal to 50x and then take note na our points is um, ginagawa kasi natin dahil ito sinusundan natin based on your analytic job x and y axis okay the x axis is x and the y axis is t but in this uh, plot itong waveform natin our x axis is the time our y axis is v Kaya papalitan mo to. Madami akong nakitang uh, error nung mayroon lang tayong problems on plotting. So, papalitan mo to. Yung y ngayon gagawin mong v, okay, is equal to 50 and x gagawin mong t. Kaya, v as a function of t, kapag lalagay mo siya, this is in volts. Okay. Okay. Kaya, this is in volts. Kaya, kapag lalagay mo siya, kapag lalagay mo siya dito, 50 of t v as a function of t. Yung iba, ganito pa rin ang ginagawa niya. No, kailangan mo palitan yung x and y axis mo kasi ang pinag-uusapan natin dito ay naka ang x natin is time and ang y natin is yung watts. Okay? Next. 4 uh, Next is 1 interval from time less than 1 and greater than or I mean greater than 1 and less than 3. So from 1 to 3 siya. Ayan. So, dadagdagan lang natin. Uh, ilinawan ko to. 150. Ito naman ay 3, negative 50. Tapos ito to, 4 and 0. Para mamaya, tinitignan na lang natin. Okay. Ang points natin ay so, 150 and 30 and 3. 3, negative 50. So, this is our x1, y1, x2, y2. And nililabel pa, hindi nakakalito. Okay, using 2.4, y minus y1, that is 50. Okay, y2 is negative 50 ito. Minus y1, 50 on over x2, 3, minus 1, x minus 1. Okay, y minus 50, this is negative 100 over 2. And x minus 1. So, y is equal to, this is 50, di ba? O, sige, minus na muna natin. So, x minus 1, and then distribute, negative 50x plus 50. So, ito, kapag nilipat mo sa kabila yung 50, so, positive. So, 50 plus 50, 100. So, 100 minus 50 of x. And then, transform natin siya in terms of uh, t and v axis. So, magiging V is equal to 100 minus 50T. Ang unit natin is volts. Ayan. Ito yung 4 second interval. 